YouTube makes or makes us bananas. Got another little uh, unboxing review here today for you of the Griffin reveal for the iPhone 4. Um, got this case from I Love Gadget 77. If you didn't see it, um, I'll put a link in the. Actually, I'll put a link right there um, to the unboxing I did of his um, that he hooked me up with. We did a little casey trade, and um, he sent me out four cases. And so this is the second review that I'll be doing um, of the Griffin reveal. On my iPhone 3GS, I had this case and I loved it. It was probably my favorite case. I paired it up with the Jealous Skin, and I think it looked pretty. Um, pretty sweet and so I wanted to try this out um, for the iPhone 4 kind of since I since it was released um, and I'll let you know what I think about it I wasn't super stoked on this case actually as much as I liked um, the iPhone 3GS version. This is in white um, and part of the reason I don't like it is this white um, it's a silicone but it, it, you know what it gets really dirty and um, you know I'm not a fan of that I, I like my phone to look nice and clean. Anyways, uh, let's just pop it on. Uh, button side first, and you just kind of... Let's just focus this here. You just kind of want to... Kind of peel it over. It's a bit of a bummer to get on. It's not It's not the easiest case to, to pop on there. But once it's on the phone, you know, it looks... Um, it looks okay. As you can already tell... The white on the white, it, it's kind of dirty, you know, and it doesn't look as white as the white um, on the iPhone, which, you know, whatever, it is what it is. So, um, there it is on the phone. Um, yeah, we'll just do a little walk around and I'll kind of show you the case and let you know kind of what I think of it. So, yeah, it does have a, a lay on the table design. Um, it's got the silicone that comes right up over the edge. On the bottom, you have separate cutouts for the, um, sorry, I just bumped the camera for the dock connector, headphone, and, um, sorry, speaker and microphone. Um, so that's nice. I like that when they kind of separate them. On the side, you've got a nice little Griffin logo there. On the top, um, nice cutout for the headphone and secondary mic. Um, it's really cut out well. It's not super recessed, so you should be able to get anything in there. Um, nice uh, pressable button for the sleep awake. On the side there, you have... Um, easy to press volume buttons and uh, that is really easy to get into and get at. Um, and then the back, you've got a nice kind of keyhole cutout that goes right around um, the flash and the camera really nicely and then you've got like a polycarbonate uh, back. This will get scratches on it and fingerprints um, but I guess better scratches on there than on your phone. It fits nice and it feels nice um, if you're going to get this case, I would not suggest getting the white because it gets dirty. Um, it's going to pick up the dirt from your hands and from your pocket and from whatever. And so as nice as this case is, it doesn't look good on the white iPhone because you can already see, I mean, I don't think the camera's really picking it up super good, but it's kind of too tony and I'm not a huge super fan. Super nice case overall. Um, it feels good. You know, all the buttons and cutouts are awesome. But on a white iPhone, it just looks um, dirty, and I'm not cool with that. But nonetheless, nice case from Griffin. You get nothing in the box. The case costs you, like, you know, 30 bones, and uh, all you get is this case. So, you know, I'm not stoked when companies do that. If you're going to send out a case, throw in a screen shield. Give me a break. So anyways, that'll be it for me on the Griffin reveal. Um, as always, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will catch you all later. Cheers.